Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Let me be perfectly blunt. You are not my first choice. You are here at the request of Admiral Kazansky, AKA Iceman. He seems to think that you have something left to offer the Navy. What that is, I can't imagine. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a teacher. Just want to manage the expectations. Penny was a character that we had heard uh, her name in the first Top Gun movie. What was it like for you to bring her to life uh, in the sequel? It was so much fun. Uh, I loved her as a character. I thought that she was written, uh, when I read the script, I really uh, appreciated how she was written. She was really, I thought she was really strong, independent, but had a, you know, she was someone who had a lot of fun and had a great spirit. So I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I don't want to use the word grown up, but um, the romance between Penny and Pete, um, there's some real lived in moments uh, between them. And I think the way Joe has the camera linger on them at times is really going to touch people when they watch the, the movie. Um, what was it like to lean into that aspect of the two uh, Penny and Pete's relationship? I liked it. I thought it was a good choice um, to and an interesting choice and set it apart from the kind of diff very different kind of romance that exists in the original Top Gun movie. Um, these are two people who have known each other for decades, who clearly have a lot of affection for one another, uh, who know each other really well, um, and have this long history. Um, I think it was a it was an interesting choice. We you know it, it affords a, you know a different kind of intimacy, um, and uh, yeah, I thought it, I thought it was surprising. I thought it was surprising, and I really liked it. Jennifer, how did Tom help you conquer your fear of flying? <laughs> Um, well, I, uh, you know, it's a very special experience being in a, pl a plane like that, that, you know, it's a P-51, it's a vintage plane. It, you have a very different kind of feeling of exposure in a plane like that. I mean, it's literally this, feel, it's about this wide. And the top of the cockpit is was brushing the top of my head. Um, and it's this sort of glass bubble that you're in. Um, so you really feel in the air in a different kind of way. Um, and I think that that would have been very frightening for someone like me who's not a huge fan of flying if it weren't for Tom uh, being the pilot. You know, I think it was sort of therapeutic to do that kind of what for me felt like extreme flying and actually just be able to enjoy it. Did you always know that you were going to be going up in the air uh, at one point in the movie? No, I wasn't supposed to be in the air at any point in the movie. And um, I was I was shooting a scene. The only scene that there was was a scene in that plane on the tarmac. Um, and we were shooting that scene and Tom was talking to me and he was talking to me about aerobatic flying and had I done any. And I started to get like, he was kind of pushing this line of questioning and I started to get suspicious. I was like, is there going to be aerobatic flying in my near future? And he was like, it's just gonna be very graceful roles. It's gonna be very elegant. And I, of course I was like, okay, cool, cool. Not letting on like how my fear, actually the other day he was like, you know, I, I heard recently that you had a fear of flying and you never told me. And I'm like, of course I didn't tell you, you're Tom Cruise. Like, <laughs> I'm like trying to be just a little bit cool about things. But when I told my family who knew that I like how much I get frightened by flying, um, that they'd added the scene, they were in hysterics. They were like, oh my God, <laughs> he wants you to do a role in an airplane. <laughs> they were like, this is hilarious. Um, gratefully, actually, they didn't make us do that. I didn't have to do the role because they did a test and they realized you couldn't actually tell who was in the back of the plane when they did the actual role. So that part wasn't me. I got so queasy watching those scenes, actually. Did you? Um, Jennifer, I mean, 1986 was such a huge summer for movies. Um, I remember as a kid having a Top Gun poster on my wall. And I remember having a calendar that had Labyrinth and Top Gun in it. Really? Probably, probably the following year. Um, what was your impression um, back then? Uh, you had a movie out that summer. Tom had a movie out that summer. What do you recall? Like, what did you think of the original Top Gun? It was such a phenomenon. It was a huge phenomenon. I mean, that music was everywhere. And to this day, like, I, you say, I mean, I, those songs still get stuck in my head. Um, and the flying sequences, I had never, you know, been exposed to that 
you know, anything like that before. Uh, I was so impressed by it, you know. And of course, Tom's character was pretty iconic. You just mentioned the soundtrack. I had it. I loved it. Uh, I love the Lady Gaga song. What did you think of the choice uh, of her to sing the closing song, Hold My Hand? I thought it was amazing. Amazing. I think, I don't know, I think that people associated the original Top Gun with the soundtrack. So I think it felt really important to have something that would become iconic in that way for, you know, for Maverick. And, um, you know, she's a legend, you know, she's amazing. A lot of the people in the movie, they have nicknames, uh, Penny doesn't. I know. What, what would, what would, what would, uh, what would your nickname be? I don't really know. I had one once. Mm. Uh, it, so I had one once when I was in college, I was on, I walked on to the running team, the cross country running team, just because I really wanted to play a sport, but I didn't play any sport, but I thought I run and I'm pretty stubborn and I can, maybe I can will myself to be fast enough to keep up with the team. And I tried out and they let me on. Mind you, they never let me compete. So I'm a little suspicious that they had me on the team kind of as a mascot because I was the slowest and I had the least training and they were like proper athletes. And, um, but anyway, I was kind, I was on the team. I was on the roster and everyone had nicknames and my nickname was Death Grip. I think because I, I was the slowest, but I was so determined to s stay in there for better or worse. That was my nickname. <laughs> 